grazing, bleating and sleeping. You'd think the daily life of a sheep would hold few mysteries. But for farmers like Gareth Jones, knowing what your flock is up to can be a challenge. Yuck, yuck. Especially if a sheep becomes lame or, as often happens, disappears. You have got some problems, sheep. Um, even with the best fences, um, they'll jump over and uh, finding them, they go to find the best grass. You can't really blame them. But it's, usually it's the same individual ones that start to wonder. There are a couple of mystery sheep here. There are a couple of mystery sheep, yeah. Sometimes conditions make tracking down the sheep impossible. The internet, it's claimed, could help. Attaching sensors to the sheep that would be visible online. Tiny GPS trackers and cameras have been used to follow the secret life of other species. These cats were filmed by the BBC's Horizon programme. Applying the same sort of idea to the countryside could, it's claimed, unlock a huge amount of information. It's not just sheep, we're talking about cows. It could be that we tag the badgers so that we can look at TB risk, for example. There's lots of things that would a farmer would benefit from sitting at home, on the couch, in the warm, feeling comfortable with his flock. The idea isn't just to put animals online, but all sorts of features of the countryside. This stream, for example, could have sensors in the riverbank that would tell you not just the water quality and speed, but give a live flood warning instantly that could be picked up anywhere in the world. The team already have sensors in the soil on Gareth's farm. I mean, that's quite good, because that is actually the logger. Oh, it stores the data. With the livestock also online, they could solve another mystery. How much sheep pollute the environment? 